Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we're gonna remake a Miu Miu runway look from spring summer 2022. So if you have seen the front of a fashion magazine recently, you have seen a super mini chino skirt that is super low waisted, and I mean it is mini. It looks like it's like seven inches long. And then there's a matching chino top that literally looks just like the skirt. So we are going to remake that runway look from head to toe, including the shoes and the socks. So I costed everything out. And this runway look costs over $8,000. So I will not be buying that look this spring, but we can totally thrift this look and make it. So I headed to the thrift store and I found all of these pieces to make this look. So follow along and I'm gonna show you how to make the iconic spring summer 2022 Miu Miu runway looks. This look was surprisingly really hard to put together because I had to go to so many thrift stores to find all the little individual pieces. I had to search through hundreds of chino pants to find some that had the pleats on the front. And since pleats are no longer cool on the front of chinos, these were really hard to find. But I found two pair that match pretty good together. So these two pair are the pairs that we are going to be using for the top and the bottom. And then I had to find a trench coat in gray, which I could not find, that did not happen. So we purchased one in a khaki, and then we bought some dye, and then we dyed it gray. So the khaki coat is no longer khaki. It is now a charcoal gray, just like the runway look. But we still have some things to alter and do to it to make it perfect. And then we went through hundreds of belts to find two black leather belts at the thrift store that kind of matched. It was impossible to find matching ones, but we found a couple that were the right size and roughly the same buckle at the top. The socks, I did not thrift. I ended up buying these new in the kids section, but they have that little rib knit on them vertically. So they look a lot like the runway socks. The shoes I didn't end up looking for because I had a pair at home that were really close. So we went with these tuxedo shoes here that kind of look like the loafers that they showed on the runway. The first thing we need to do is alter the pants so that way we can make a skirt and a top out of them. So I'm going to choose these ones to make the skirt. And now what you need to do if you wanna make this look is measure how long you want it. So maybe you don't want it quite as short as the runway look or maybe you do. So go ahead and measure from your low hip down and see where you want to cut these. Now you'll notice in the picture that they also have the pocket bags hanging out. So make sure you just don't chop all the way across the pants because then you'll be cutting the pocket bags just as short as the skirt and you won't be able to see them hanging out. So let's go over exactly how to do that. So I measured down from my hips and it seems like nine inches is going to be a really good mini skirt length. And I looked at the skirt online and it looks like it's a little bit past the bottom of the fly here. So I'm going to go with nine inches from the bottom of the waistband and I'm going to mark this all the way around the pants. Okay, so now I have it marked all the way around my pants and it's time to cut. So before you cut though, make sure you go into your pants and take these pockets and pull them up so you don't cut into the pockets. So I'm going to clip into the pants and follow my chalk line all the way around the bottom of the pants, making sure that I'm not cutting through any of the pockets. And you can see we have our pockets still right here, which is great. We didn't want to cut into those. So let's flip it over and do the back. And check that out. I now have my Miu Miu mini skirt worth $995 and it was so easy to make. Can you believe we just made this $995 Miu Miu mini skirt? What? And we made it for roughly $5. And I don't even have to take this one in because it's supposed to sit real low on my hips. And so it's not high waisted and we're gonna wear a belt with it. So this skirt is done. And that took us, what? I don't know, three minutes of cutting. Hello, fashion runway craziness. 
Next, we're going to create the top. So the way you wanna do this is take the pants that you have, hold them up to your like chest, your top chest, so like above your bust line. The biggest point is here, so make sure that it's up here because we're gonna have that belt that holds these on. And now it's up to you how long you wanna make this top. I know the runway look, it shows the bra at the bottom and the top. Maybe you don't quite want it that short. Um, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my bra so I can feel the bottom of it. And I'm going to put a little chalk mark there so that way I roughly know how long to cut it. And I know it's not gonna be very big, but that's okay. It's all about the runway look. So I've got my chalk mark here and I've measured from the bottom of the waistband down and it's six and a half inches. Again, yours could be longer, yours could be shorter, totally up to you in this look. So now what we need to do is just cut off six and a half inches down from the waistband, bottom of the waistband, all the way around and then we're gonna have a top. Do you believe it? So easy. We couldn't find this top online, by the way, so I don't really know what the Miu Miu cost for it is, but since it looks just like the skirt, I'm gonna assume it's also right around $995. Again, we got these pair of pants for $3.70. Pretty awesome. So let's cut it up. So for creating the top, I'm going to be measuring down six and a half inches from the bottom of the waistband here. Now you'll notice I'm going to run into the zipper placket here. So this is going to create an issue when we cut over it. If we cut through the zipper and we unzip it, uh, it is gonna fall apart. So we're either gonna have to sew over this or dare I say, glue it together. Now that we are all done marking, next we are going to cut. So I've got my scissors and I am going to create my top here. So for this design, there are no pockets sticking out of the top. So I am going to be cutting off the pockets, the pocket bags, I should say. So you don't want the pocket bags hanging out for the top. Okay, there is that zipper, it is zipped up. We're going to very carefully cut through it. Okay. And now we have a top. Okay, so we finished cutting it, but we were just looking at some more looks and it looks like you can see the pockets popping out. So on the images on the website, they have it covered up by the trench coat. So that's why I thought you couldn't see the pockets, but you actually can. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make the top just a little bit shorter. It actually looks like they're styling it to a little bit lower on the bust. So believe it or not, we need this top a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna make it about an inch and a half, two inches shorter and making sure that the pockets are exposed now. So I have my top prepped and my bottom skirt here prepped. Now it's time to work on the trench coat. So this was khaki and it got two rounds of dyeing and graphite and the color is so similar to that runway color. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, but this trench coat has this big flap on the front. So, you know, I was curious, why does it have a big flap on the front? Did a little research. Turns out it's from way back in the day when people used to use a lot of shotguns. So it would help with the shotgun kickback. Wait, what? Crazy. But we don't want it on here for this look. So I'm just gonna cut it away right next to the seam that's here. And I think that's gonna look okay. And then I don't have to go through all the trouble of seam ripping it all off and sewing it all back up. Sounds like a lot of work that I don't wanna do right now. So we are just gonna cut it off real close to the existing seam. So let's do it. Okay, so that was super easy and you can't even tell that I cut that flap off. But the other thing we do need to do to this coat if we wanna stay true to the runway look is we need to undo the lining right here so that way it looks like it's hanging out and it's frayed. So we're gonna do that to both of the arms and the hem of the trench coat. So I tried on the trench coat to see what it was looking like and turns out it is really long because I'm so short, so go figure, right? Um, but that's okay. This look has a raw edge on the hem, so we are just going to cut it off. 
So I measured it and I need to take off about seven inches and we were checking out this runway look and it looks like the lining hangs out of it. So we are going to cut off seven inches and then I'm gonna come back and cut off another inch of just the top layer of the coat. So that way my lining is hanging out about an inch. So I'm measuring up my seven inches from the bottom and I'm putting a chalk mark and then I will be cutting it all off. Cool thing about cutting hems is sometimes you can just cut a little bit of it and then use it as a template and fold it over. Okay, so now that we have it shortened, it's time to come back and remove another inch from the outside of the coat so that way the lining is going to hang out on the bottom. And I'm just gonna eyeball this. I almost feel like the more hobo it looks, the better. So you can see we have our lining starting to hang out on the bottom, which is great. So I thought we were gonna have to trim the arms down as well, but it looks like the sleeves in this look are super long. So all I need to do here is open up the lining and well, the sleeves are done. Okay, so I am just going to cut real close to the edge here just so I can get in here to open it up. And then I'm just gonna cut along the crease that's right here. Okay, we made it all the way around. It looks like I have some stitches here keeping the lining down. I am going to clip those. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just clip right outside this little facing piece here to remove it. Okay, so now we have our raw lining. We have the raw edge of the outside of our jacket. And well, unfortunately, this is how the hem of it looks. I cannot believe how easy it was to make this runway look. So easy and so much cheaper than $8,000. Can you imagine spending $8,000 on this look? I know I can't, but I can imagine spending $31 on it completely, because I did, right? So now we get to try it on and really see what this looks like on. I'm actually really nervous to put this outfit on because the girls on the runway were showing so much skin and that's kind of nerve wracking. So hopefully it looks okay enough for me to show you. If not, we'll put it on the dress form. Hello, spring, summer 2022. Look how fabulous we look, right? We didn't even have to spend over $8,000 on this look, just $31. Uh, this look really is hilarious to me, but you know, fashion is kind of wild and crazy and hilarious. So this Miu Miu runway look with the khakis cut off, top, bottom, hobo trench coat, I mean, maybe it's you. Maybe you're vibing on this, or maybe you're not, and that's okay too. But at least we didn't have to spend over $8,000 on the look. So if you love this look, make sure you try it and follow my tutorial because it is so easy and it is on the front of all the fashion magazines right now, which just kind of blows my mind for so many reasons. Can you imagine showing up to an event or a dinner party in this outfit? Is everyone gonna think you look like a designer look for $8,000? I don't know. Leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you think about this look. Is it awesome? Is it rad? Is it amazing? Or is it not? And I know I usually do sewing tutorials and we did no sewing in this one. All we did was cutting. Can you believe it? I can't. My first ever no sewing tutorial and we got an $8,000 look with no sewing. It's amazing. Thanks so much for watching Sewy so Anastasia today. If you have any questions, leave it down below. And I would love to know and hear your thoughts on this look, so also leave that down below. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it an applause, and leave that comment. And make sure you subscribe to Sewy so Anastasia so you can see all my new videos that come out every single week. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. Also, make sure you follow me on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, so that way we can stay connected and creative 
together. And I would love to see your take on this look or any creative projects that you're working on right now. So make sure you tag So Anastasia so I can repost and share them with everyone else. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.